What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a quick video uh, just basically showcasing how to tell if your Yeezy 350 boosts are real or fake. This video is an uh, informational video, hopefully to avoid buyers who are interested in getting the 350 boosts from purchasing a fake pair or unauthorized pair as some of the sellers call it, a um, pair of Yeezys. Now the problem with Yeezys nowadays is a lot of people can't get their hands on them when they first come out, so they look to seek uh, for aftermarket places to purchase them, whether it be a boutique, a additional uh, store shop like uh, Flight Club that sells shoes aftermarket for after ret like after retail price, which is often really high, or uh, more commonly known eBay. Um, you have to be very careful in the market because you don't want to buy something that's fake. Now, Flight Club is a very reputable uh, seller, so if you're interested in getting a pair and you've got money to spend at least a thousand or two, and you want a pair of Yeezys, go through them. They're a great option, even though they're very expensive. Um, I know for a fact that they indeed will sell you a real pair. Um, now in terms of other places, I'm sure you guys in the comments can maybe list some more uh, good sellers that are authentic, but um, this is just an informational video for people who are possibly interested in purchasing them on eBay. So we're going to start off by looking at the telltale signs between the box, the insole, and then talking about the quality of the shoe themselves compared to the fakes. Um, so starting off here at the box, uh, we can see that I have a size 10. I purchased these about a year and a half ago, uh, before Christmas of 2015 and almost two years ago actually, um, or I don't even know if I'm getting the time right. But anyways, looking at the box itself, it's a pretty standard Adidas box. Mine's a little bit dirty. Um, it's kind of sat inside from having it stored and other boxes being on top. But uh, I'm gonna keep wearing these so I don't have to worry about like selling or anything. But starting off on the back side here, you've got your standard Adidas uh, branding here with the Yeezy logo, uh, or not the Yeezy logo, but the Yeezy uh, kind of font written up there, Yeezy, and then, uh, Let's actually flip it like this so you guys can see it better. And then Boost 350 Easy Supply with the Adidas logo. So that's pretty cool. And then looking at the other side here, we've got our size kind of chart listed here. Now this is where a lot of telltale signs come in from fakes and authentics in terms of what's real. As you can see, I have a size 10 and the number one that has a very uh, easy to tell kind of uh, font picked out on it. The font itself is a big giveaway. If you catch any pair on eBay with a different font, it's more than likely a fake. Now the font isn't always easy to spot the difference in, so I'm going to show you guys some uh, particular cases or characters um, where the font may be off. So taking a look at the number one, the number one in this particular box has a almost a bite out of it at the top of the number one, uh, the 10. It actually is like a rounded out number one. That's how your number one should look if you're purchasing a size 10 or a 10 and a half, or if you're purchasing any half size and you see the number one, it should have that same kind of curved top and then a flat bottom. And then on the very, very bottom of the one, it should have that kind of like statue point there where it kind of is flattened out. So that's how your number one should look for um, all cases for this particular uh, shoe, for the 350 Boost. And then over here you've got your standard branding and barcode stuff. Most of the fakes have mastered this and gotten this down, so unfortunately I can't say for sure as to whether or not this will match up with every pair of reels or fakes. The one thing that I've noticed that has been uh, true all the way through with all the Yeezys that I've seen on eBay that are fakes in comparison to reels is the uh, particular margin spaced around that little man up top in the black box or the uh, end of the sizing here on the bottom. Notice how the end of the sizing here, there's a very, very minimal margin here. Very small, almost the exact amount of space from this number nine to the edge of the particular label as there is up top to the man to the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and focus in on that again so you guys can see that in better light and hopefully you guys can understand what I'm talking about. As you can see, the man has a very, very, very slim margin in between where the black box ends and the white label starts and ends as well. But towards the side, it's a little bit larger which is to be expected with the real pair. So when you see your label on eBay or if you're purchasing them in person and you wanna make sure that they're authentic, make sure you look at these margins because these are very, very important. This is, to my knowledge, the only telltale sign that I've been able to pick up uh, owning these pairs and seeing other pairs out there uh, that has been a conclusive uh, whether or not these shoes themselves are real or if they're just an unauthorized replica. So that's a big telltale sign. Now I'm gonna move on to some other signs that are still present in some fakes that aren't as good, but I can tell you that some of the newer fakes may have these issues fixed. So setting the shoe aside, a big one that people have noticed and that people continue to notice with some of the older 350 boosts and not so much the 
new 350 Boost V2 is the Adidas logo on the back of the shoe. The problem with wearing Yeezys over time is that the Yeezy sole themselves gets often kind of very squished out because of all the pressure on it, especially with that Boost material. It's a very comfortable material, but nonetheless, all the pressure that your foot pushes on it, this is going to squish out all these logos. So I'm going to be showing you what the sole would look like if it was fake initially, um, and as in, uh, opposed to what the sole itself should look like if it was real. So this particular sole is a perfect example of what a fake pair will look like after some time. Now the sole itself has this Adidas logo, and it looks pretty good to the first glance. Unfortunately, the lighting is not the best. Let me get it here right here. There we go. As you can see, my Adidas logo is very like bulged out. Um, it's very like smeared in um, from all the pressure from my foot on the sole. But that's how the fakes will look when you first go to purchase them. The sole itself may look a little bit more cleaned up, but this logo will be very rounded out and very bolded out. The real pair when you first purchase them, if you can tell at the bottom of these little leaves here on the Adidas like logo, uh, is very clean cut. The real pair will have a very nice clean cut leaves very nice clean cut Adidas uh, name brand there and uh, if I can get it to focus here you guys can see that there's like a little dot and then there's the two lines and then the three leaves on the top that dot and then those tiny leaves on the side will all be very clean cut it'll look just kind of uh, a much cleaner version of this now the only reason that I once again that I said that this particular uh, sole looks the way it does is because of all the pressure that's been applied of a year of wearing them so the whole People wanting to run legit checks on your shoes over time when you purchase these shoes isn't really going to be viable unless they either A, see your receipt if you were given one after purchase, or B, they check your box itself. But I don't really think that's all that important as long as you know that they're authentic and that's what you're looking for in the shoe, then that's what you should be concerned about. But let's take one last look at the shoe real quick. Most of the fakes, unfortunately, have come very close to the same quality and material that the Yeezy pre uh, presents when you first purchase the Authentics. The boost in the material of the fakes is oftentimes close, but nowhere near as good as the actual boost. And the materials themselves are so close that not even some of the, the best sneakerheads out there can tell the difference. The laces oftentimes look the exact same. The material itself looks the exact same, feels the exact same. And now the good fakes have the stitching that is almost perfect to the initials. So I mean, if you really look at the rock a pair of fakes that looks just like the real ones, but maybe may not feel as well as the real ones, hey man, more power to you. But if you're looking to get yourself a real authentic pair, these are just some tips and some telltale signs to figure out whether or not you're buying yourself a fake pair or an authorized pair. I hope this guy's helped you. Uh, this video helped you guys out in uh, making your purchase, whether you do it on eBay or through a company like I mentioned earlier, Flight Club. Um, the shoe itself is really good, and the boost material that Adidas has come up with is really comfortable. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.